Prince William shares the traditional Maori greeting with Willia Piata, the only recipient of the Victoria Cross for New Zealand credit Tim Rooker X Shuttershock The Duke of Cambridge has shared a traditional Maori greeting as he met the families of First World War New Zealand servicemen. Prince William was joining Princess Astrid of Belgium in commemorating the sacrifices of Kiwi soldiers who fought and died at Pas Chandale. The Duke and Princess were greeted by the Maori cultural group of the New Zealand Defence Force, whose spiritual calls and chants rang out across the white headstones before they were led to their seats on Thursday morning. William also shared a hungi the traditional greeting in which noses are touched together with Willia Piata, the first and so far only recipient of the Victoria Cross for New Zealand. Representing the Queen, the Duke walked with the Princess past hundreds of headstones in a Commonwealth War Graves Cemetery where thousands of Allied servicemen are remembered or buried. The Duke of Cambridge and Princess Astrid of Belgium attend the New Zealand National Commemoration Credit Gareth Fuller for the Duke told descendants of New Zealand soldiers that, although we may never truly understand the conditions they endured we can remember. He said that newsreels might have described them as ordinary men and women, but there was nothing ordinary about their service or their sacrifice. The Duke and Princess were the final guests to arrive for the service at Tyne Cot Cemetery, near the town of Ypres in Flanders, held to mark the centenary of the Battle of Pas Chendale. New Zealand military personnel performing the traditional Maori greeting on Thursday credit Chris Jackson Getty October 12, 1917 has become known as the darkest day of the war for the New Zealand division, which suffered heavy loses when they were ordered to take an area called Bellevue Spur but were bogged down in shell holes under enemy fire. On that day, more than 840 Kiwis were killed fighting in a foreign land far from home part of a huge toll of dead and injured both sides suffered that summer. The Duke of Cambridge speaks to those gathered for the ceremony credit Gareth Fuller but the Duke said all too often the newsreels speak of ordinary men and women. There was nothing ordinary about their service or their sacrifice. As we have heard, October 12, 1917 was the darkest day in the military history of a proud and committed people. For New Zealanders, the loss of more than 840 men in just a few hours is seared into the national consciousness. All told, the Battle of Pas Chandale would claim close to 2,000 lives a devastating toll for a country with a population of just over a million. Half a world away, news of the losses was felt like a shockwave. Every death here left a shattered family there. Entire communities were robbed of their young people. No part of New Zealand was untouched by loss. The Duke of Cambridge lays a wreath at the New Zealand Memorial Wall to the missing credit Chris Jackson Getty David Carter, Speaker of the New Zealand House of Representatives, earlier told how Kiwi soldiers described devastating scenes amid a porridge of mud and a place that stamps itself on one's mind and memory like a red iron. William went on to say the fight in these fields was of a magnitude and ferocity that is difficult for us, today, to fully comprehend. But while we may never truly understand, we can remember. About the Battle of Pas Chandale Tyne Cot Cemetery is the largest Commonwealth burial ground in the world, with more than 11,000 servicemen buried there and tens of thousands more Allied fighters, whose remains have never been found, commemorated at the site.